Now to a consumer alert. There's a new high tech twist on the popular grandparent scam. That's when a scammer calls pretending to be a loved one in trouble to get your money. Now AI is making it more realistic. I spoke to one grandmother with her warning after she was asked for thousands of dollars. It was a call from an anonymous number. The reason I answered it was because I have a sister whose it comes in like that. Maureen didn't want to use her last name for privacy concerns, but she said she heard a familiar voice on the phone. The voice on the other end said, Grandma, Grandma, I'm in trouble. I need your help. The person she thought was her grandson proceeded to say he's been in a car accident, has a neck brace on, and they're taking him to the police station. It sounded exactly like him, or I would never have believed it. He said he needed $8,200 for bail. An attorney also jumped on the call, telling Maureen her grandson hit a diplomat, is in a lot of trouble, and can't tell anyone what happened for 72 hours. At the time when they're telling you this story, what's your reaction? Well, now I'm scared to death for my grandson. Maureen went to the bank to get money, but before she gave that cash to anyone, she called her daughter. Her daughter told her her grandson was not in trouble, but at a golf tournament. That's when the scammer called again, and instead Maureen's daughter spoke to him. This is her grandson's mother, and he proceeded to um, call her all kinds of horrible, ugly names. Federal agencies say technology is making these scams more believable, spoofing voices and tricking more people. The FTC warns all a scammer needs is a short audio clip of your family member's voice and a voice cloning program. Are you close with your grandson? Yes. So you know his voice? Uh, absolutely. I, I had no doubt in my mind that it was him. Cyber experts say always go to the source and verify the person, even if the caller said you can't tell anyone. And don't trust caller ID because numbers can be easily spoofed. They also recommend to inform your mobile carrier. How many grandkids do you have? How many grand grandkids? Grandkids. Four. Four grandkids. Two boys and two girls. Maureen loves all of them, but now to ensure she's actually talking to her grandkids, she has an extra safety step in case she gets another urgent call. Our family has what's called a safe word, mm -hmm. and it should be a word that nobody else would know. Don't send it in a text or an email. Call them directly on the phone. A new tool for a call she hopes she'll never get again. It was so terrifying emotionally. I don't want anybody to have to go through this.